Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheesy87, and this is a Let's Play of Virtus Last Reward Hearts 21? 21 or 22, don't exactly know. Last video, we did the Treatment Center puzzle, which, uh, it was like, it, it was another one of those where like, almost all of it was easy, but the final puzzle was, d destroyed my brain, especially getting the secret, um, the secret file. I was, it took a very long time. 45 minutes remain so basically, trying to remember, because this is the first, first video of the day, we are paired up with Clover and Quark, but Quark is in the treatment pod right now, so obviously he can't vote. Somebody else must have opened one of the AB rooms. Why would they do that? Also, I just woke up, so my voice is still, you know, after you got about, you know, an hour or so before your voice doesn't sound weird after you wake up. It's kind of weird. Well, actually, I've been up for a little bit. It's just, you know, I haven't been talking or anything. Wait! Clover's voice stopped me. Uh, what is it? I turned to see her pointing towards the wall with the treatment pods. The screen. It changed. What screen? The screen on the pod's monitor thingy. Because we get our head chopped off by the laser. Oh yeah, it says recent operational records. I stopped closer and began to read. What it said was interesting. Currently treating one subject. That's Quark. This was the pod we'd put him in, after all. I read on. 748, one subject released. 806, one subject successfully restored. 816, cold sleep mode disengaged. Beginning restoration of one subject. All prior records have been erased. Authorization admin. Hmm. I checked the other pods. They were all the same. Exact same time, exact same time, and exact same time. Whoa, what is all this? I think it's saying that about eight hours ago, somebody in this pod woke up from cold sleep. Well, three people actually. One for each pod. They all say the same thing, see? I mean, this is just weird that there's only three pods. That's before we all woke up, huh? I mean, it hasn't been eight hours yet. Yeah. So three pod people could be three of us. They could have been captured earlier? Don't know how much earlier. Then they were thawed out eight hours ago and carried into the AV rooms? Yeah, that seems reasonable. I really don't think there'd be anyone else in here besides the nine of us. Well, I guess it's actually the ten of us, huh? Oh, yeah, the lady. If you count the old woman we found, then it would be ten, wouldn't it? So, who were the three pod people? Don't ask me! How am I supposed to know that? All it says is subject. A, that's creepy. B, mm -hmm. it doesn't tell us anything about who they might have been. Hmm. It doesn't say when they were put into cold sleep, either. And this bit where it says all prior records have been erased authorization admin that seems pretty suspicious to me yes yeah, very sus i wonder why they wouldn't just write the time though what well you said it yourself the log says eight hours ago not like not is that not what that said okay those minus signs have to mean this far in the past oh <laughs> i mean i knew that <laughs> yeah that is weird. Maybe Zero Senior doesn't want us to know what the actual time is? Why not? Hell if I know. Hmm. Speaking of things I don't know, why did this stuff suddenly show up? It seems like whatever it was that triggered this activated as soon as we opened the door to leave. Wouldn't that mean Zero Senior set it up to work that way? It is possible. But why? That's what I'm asking. 
what reason would he have to do that? Maybe he wanted us to see the records. Perhaps, but he deleted a bunch of the data. Why? Could it all be a trick? A trick? All of these records are fake. Zero Senior just set it up to mess with us. I mean, that, that's also all, all possible. I mean, any of our information about the outside world can't exactly be trusted. Well, I can't say for sure, but it seems possible, right? Hmm. Well, it doesn't make any sense. Well, let's ask somebody else. Maybe they can think of something. Yeah, you're right. The one, the only time anyone's ever going to say Clover's right about anything. The AV gates have opened, we need to be heading back to the warehouse anyway. Yeah. And we need to tell everyone what happened with Quark. Do you think Timioji's gonna flip out on us when he sees us not having Quark with us? Like, before we even get to explain? You think he'll attack us with his old man rage? Dude, just delete doors. At least it was just a word transition. No. The yawn. That means it's time to try out some of this coffee. Is this another warehouse? It looks just like the other one. Hey, could you show me that map? Yeah, I thought so. This one is right under the floor A warehouse. Mm hmm. So it's just like an extension of the warehouse. Oh, are those? Those doors are white. And there are three of them. And they all look the same. I knew it. These are chromatic doors. Mm hmm. See? They've got a little box right. Yeah, yeah we're pretty well, familiar with all this. Why do we have six? Oh, yeah, because we betrayed Timmy Yoshi, lol. Yeah, that's true. So? We're a pair, right? She wants to betray Quark. And who's our opponent? No. Mm -mm. We're not. I'm not. The, if I'm, the only way we'll ever betray is either in situations where we're going to pick at someone mega suspicious, like, say, Dio, or. When the game forces me to, you know, I'm not I'm not a bad person. I refuse. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna betray not just a child, but a child who is a like has a incredibly dangerous disease and can't even defend themselves. Exactly. But he's in the pod right now, so Gosh, she's actually evil. If no vote is re you aren't saying we should pick Betray, are you? Weren't you planning to? Absolutely not. I thought that was why you were okay with option C when we were making the groups. Oh, uh, well, no, it's because our other options to pair with were equally worse. No, no, that's not. I just thought that with Quark's condition, I'd be able to choose Ally and not worry about getting betrayed. Oh, come on. You don't need to lie to me. Not everyone's an evil bitch, Clover. We're partners. That means we share the same destiny. What? So let's not hide anything from each other, okay? Dude, I don't... Even if we wanted to betray, I don't trust Clover to not, like, be trying to out us. Wait, you're serious? Yes. You were really going to pick Ally? Uh-huh. Whoa. Hold on a second there. We might not get another chance like this. Let's say we ally and get up to eight points. Yeah. We don't know if we'll be able to get any points next round. For all we know, there might not even be a next round. There's obviously going to be a next round. There are three other people with six BP, right? Dio, K, and Phi. Okay, yeah, okay. That, that's actually probably the most reasonable uh, objection that I think about What do you think is going to happen if one of them gets nine points this round? Because we can't trust any of those three. I don't think. I mean, Dio and K, we already know, will ditch us. Phi, I feel like she'll probably also ditch us. Why not? 
Fi and Luna are playing against Tim Miyoji. He's only got one VP left. Yeah, I don't think Fi would kill anyone, though. If Tim Miyoji picked Ally, they'd kill him. The same goes for Dio. Dio, Dio would kill Alice in a fucking heartbeat. But, I mean, Kay and Alice, they're gonna betray. So, like, they're not, there's no way Dio gets to betray anyone, so. Yeah, I guess it's not really that much of a concern. I feel like no. we can safe, we can safely ally. Don't even think about that. I agree. But her VP is the same as Timmyoji's, so unless Dio's willing to kill someone, he won't be able to get his VP tonight. Well, really, the main concern is that <laughs> you've got Kay and Alice. There's a 100% chance of betrayal there. Then Alice has to vote betray. Yeah, that's generally the best defensive but choice. But if Dio chooses ally, then K would have nine BP. Imagine thinking Dio's gonna choose ally. Jeez. He's like he's like done five betrayals and one ally so far. I think. Well, it's just like I said then. If K gets nine BP, then there won't be a third AB game. Dude, there's no way uh, there's another bad ending that's just K ditches people. Come on. So it's over when someone gets 9 BP. No. As long as that person doesn't open the number 9 door, the game goes on! So you think that K will stay here? Even if he gets enough points to leave? Oh, hell no. But he's not going to get 9 points. I don't know, but it's possible. No, it's not! Well, we can think about how we're going to vote later. For now, we need to get back to the others. There's a couple things I gotta do when we get back. Fine. Alright, back to floor A then. Let's move. So I can't remember, is floor B above or below floor A? I guess it's above, right? So I'm pretty sure, yeah, because the elevators I think we've seen have gone down when we go to floor A? I guess we can check here in a second and see what the elevator animation does. Yeah, it's a, this is above floor A. Or no, 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 it's below because that just went up. Wait, no, no, you're calling the elevator. Dude, I don't like interact with the elevators very much, okay? We don't have those around here. And even if we do, like... You're very, very rarely do you see a building that's more than like two stories, and I'm like, I'm just gonna walk. Elevators are only for like three plus floors. I mean, unless, you know, you obviously, you're disabled or something like that. You can't, or, you know, you, you have some type of condition where you shouldn't be climbing the stairs. Or you can't climb the stairs. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm not gonna... Oh, thank goodness you're back. Yep. Yes. Hmm. Hey, where's Quark? I fucking knew it. Timiochi's expression was furious, and the only, from the way he was stomping towards me, I felt like I only had a few seconds where I was on the ground with his hands around my neck. I explained what had happened with Quark and the pods as quickly as I could. I mean, that's a very, very reasonable reaction. So are these pod things really safe? Uh, well, I mean, we did see them crush... Well, actually, you know, they didn't, they didn't destroy the plant. Clover destroyed the plant. Probably. <laughs> don't... Probably? <laughs> yeah, don't don't say that, Clover. We're the ones that's gonna get punched. No, they're definitely safe. He's fine. Well, are they safe, or aren't they? Look, I'm just worried about him, alright? Can you take me to this treatment center, Clover? Uh... Don't worry. We've still got 20 minutes left. Plenty of time to go have a look and come back. Well, you don't want to go with us, Timioji? Okay. He's, he is holding a hardcore grudge. Come on, then. Like, kind of an unnecessary grudge. When he when he betrayed us in the alternate timeline, he was like, alright, you should just get over it. It was the right decision. Could be a baby. Fucking boomers, man.
Alright, you guys, got some splaining to I do. Beg your pardon. You opened the AB gates before Clover and I got back, didn't you? I want to know why the hell you'd go and do something like that. Sigma, take a look. What? Ty gestures with Alonzo AB rooms. Okay, so only one is open. Wasn't everybody here? It's not like we opened them all up. So you're saying only one person or one pair jumped the gun here? Yes. It was definitely. Well, I don't know. It's probably Dio. Yeah. Then who was it? I opened it. Oh, okay. Well, mystery solved, I suppose. So it was you. Figured as much. It's not really a big deal, okay? I mean, you came right back. I mean, he's right. I mean. Well, actually, it could have been a big deal, because what if we haven't finished our puzzle yet? Why? If you hadn't made it back by the deadline, you'd have just defaulted to Ally. Yeah, but considering Quark can't vote, and since we just learned that if you, do, if you do actually get penalized if nobody votes, which, you know, it's good to know that there's not, like, a major loophole in the game. No, not just. Are you telling me you didn't know? Didn't you find one of these notes? What? We found this in the treatment center. There was no such thing in the pressure exchange chamber. Pressure exchange chamber? I didn't see one in the pantry either. Pressure exchange chamber sounds hella cool. You should really probably read it though. Here are some more AB game rules for you. <laughs> not voting is not a option. <laughs> if both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. Do you get it now? If we hadn't gotten back in time, Clover, Quark, and I could have died. And you just... Right, alright, I get it. Sorry. Cut me some slack though, man. I didn't know. See, it's like, this is one of those things where you have to wonder, like, did Dio actually know, or is, like, is it ignorance or malice? Because I feel like it could be equally be both. So you wouldn't have opened the gate if you did? Of course I wouldn't have. What the hell, bro? Bro. <laughs> you said the room you went into was a treatment center, right? Yeah. If they treat people there, I think they'd have shelves of medicine and stuff. Nope. Did you find any Excelivir? Nope. Oh yeah, nobody went to the laboratory this time. Quark is capital F fucked. If we found anything to cure Radical 6, we wouldn't have put Quark in the pod. I see. Can the pod cure Radical 6? Nope. How do you know that? Because it told us. Something about how it can uh, provide relief from the symptoms, but it can't actually cure the disease. I mean, that's better than nothing, though. Hmm. Oh, right. There's one more thing about the pods I should tell you. People were in them, Ooga Booga. Cold sleep? Are you suggesting that three of us were, until recently, cryogenically frozen? Yeah. You think Kate could even fit in a pod? <laughs> I think about it because they're kind—they're not that big. If you can trust what we read, yeah. Which of us are the pod people then? I guess they could just put K in sleep mode or something. I didn't say who. It didn't say who they were or even when they were frozen. So this cold sleep, that means they basically froze the body solid, right? Not like how a bear or something hibernates where it just slows way down. Yeah, I think so. So what would happen to the heart? I don't know. Wouldn't it stop when you were put into a cold sleep? Oh, maybe. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. Hmm. So if we go into the cold sleep, our bracelets would come off? And then we can just defrost ourselves right away. 
You said there were three pods, right? We'd only need to do it three times for the nine of us. Okay. Uh-huh. I feel like there's a catch, though. I imagine that will no. work for you. Yeah. But perhaps not so much for me. Well, you know, there's got to be sacrifices after you made, okay? You ditched us in two bad ends so far. You can't be trusted. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll figure something out. We should go have a look at any rate. We'll be able to come up with a plan once we know more. Of course. What? What do you mean the cold sleep function doesn't work? Oh. I'm sorry. But wait, it worked earlier. You don't have anything to apologize for, Luna. Zero Senior must have just locked it down. <laughs> like, j like, just now? Yeah, I remember checking it. Then that bastard set this up. Okay, I was gonna say, that seemed like a too obvious of a loophole. Oh, that's low. It is not pleasant. But consider this. We have seen how thorough Zero is. Would he really have left such an obvious loophole? Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. If Zero Jr. heard me, he could have shut it off. Whatever the case, it is an unfortunate outcome. Unfortunate? Hmm. Really? You sure? Yeah, okay. Aren't you just a little bit relieved? <laughs> After all... We were going to get our bracelets off while you were stuck with yours. Well, I mean, it's not like K could have done anything. He was with us the whole time. Unless he accessed the mainframe with his robo-brain. How could you say that? I would never be so petty as... Before K could finish, the announcer's voice echoed through the facility. Sometimes, sometimes that gets me. The slow text Ten feed... Minutes remain where, like, until you read it faster... Goes. Than where it goes, and as you, you just kind of have to like take a guess, at, like what what the rest of the sentence is gonna say. All players, please enter your votes. If no, no. time's running out. We should get back, guy. I'm staying here. I can't leave Quark. Are you nuts, old man? You're a solo. Luna and Fi could kill you. Yeah, but well, I don't know. Yeah, I know. I've only got one BP. I mean, Fi would definitely betray in a normal situation, but I don't know if she would kill him. Exactly. If you don't vote, you'll default to ally. All they have to do is pick betray. We won't. You staying here won't change our vote. Honestly, have Luna vote. Like, Fi shouldn't get a choice. I think it should just be Luna gets to vote. Because even if Luna is secretly evil, she doesn't really gain anything from, uh, killing someone. I feel like you should only ever kill someone with your votes if you're in a situation where you have 60 feet and you can instantly uh, run away. Right. We always intended to choose ally. Tenmyoji staying here is just another reason for us to stick to that plan. Luna has the same number of BP as you, Tenmyoji. Normally, the safe plan would be to choose betray. Since you will be unable to betray them, then Fi and Luna can choose to ally without worrying about their own points. Yes. No. Mm. There you go. I don't know. I trust Vi and Luna. As, I mean, I'm like, sure I get trusting Luna because, I mean, she's presented herself as trustworthy and she doesn't really have, like, that much reason to betray. Whereas Fi, though. <laughs> All right, Timioji, you take care of Quark. You think I need you to tell me that? I won't take my eyes off him for a minute. Dude, you're such an asshole. Come on. We don't have much time left. We need to go. And it's like, I want to be mad at Timioji, but at the same time, like, I get it. But I do feel like he's holding a bit too much of a grudge. Some dibs on the first room. Four minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna come down to like one second left before we get to her vote. Okay. In. I mean, you gotta ally, right? I don't know. Granted, last time I was um, like, you 100%. Do you remember what I said back in the other warehouse? Have to ally. Betraying in this situation would be unethical, then hit you in the bad end. So you, maybe you are supposed to betray, but I refuse. 
Yeah, you told me she would betray Quark since we might not get another chance like this. Right? Yeah. Can I, um, take that back? Oh, see, now we're getting mixed signals from the game. I changed my mind a little bit after talking to Ten Miyoji. I think we should choose Ally. Uh, that's more than just a little bit. That's like someone trading in a, Shin a Shinzu for a German Shepherd. What the hell happened with you two? Did he say something to you? He... I can't tell you. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm tired of this I can't tell you bullshit. I just can't. You'd laugh if I did anyway. I won't laugh. Really? Promise. Uh, <laughs> I had my fingers crossed. I'll 100% laugh at you. Well, I still can't tell you. Oh, my. Hey, come on. I promised. I told Tenmyoji I wouldn't tell anybody. Dude, since when does Clover care about trust? I won't ask about it again. But Timioji doesn't really have anything to do with this, right? Our opponent is Quark. No, he does matter. Quark is really important to Tenmyoji. If we betray Quark, we're betraying Tenmyoji. Come on, don't you remember? I Maybe mean, I do feel guilty. When we were going into the red, blue, and green doors, Tenmyoji said something. I didn't say there wasn't anyone I trusted. There's one person. Clover. Uh, Timioji, you're crazy, man. I just know that you'll keep him safe. I can't betray somebody who'd say that about me. You seem pretty ready to betray him back on floor B. That's because I didn't know who he was. Uh, so you're saying you know who Timioji really is? Well, if what he told me was true, yeah. Interesting. One minute remains. Until Abadex game polling closes. Please, choose ally. You are gonna try and vote yourself. If I try, you'll just throw me off, right? Yeah. I don't think I'm strong enough to fight you. So... Yeah, there's no axes this time, Clover. Alright, alright. I mean, you got... See, now I'm like, I'm, I feel like I have to betray, right? Because it's like, the game's like... You 100% have to ally. We totally want you to ally. I'm gonna ally, though. The game is not gonna... I'm not gonna turn myself into a villain. You know. I'm only gonna be a villain if I'm forced to be. How can I betray someone like that? Only a monster would take advantage of a helpless child for their own gain. See, this is... I don't know, they're pushing allies so hard, but maybe they're pushing allies, so maybe they're like the next level where they're pushing allies so hard that like you start to think, well, obviously, maybe the game's lying to me and I gotta betray, but then you actually are supposed to ally. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. <sighs> I mean, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna ally. Three. Two. One. Even if I do, I do actually think Betray is the correct decision here, but we're gonna go with Ally. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results, thank you, Ambidex gates, now opening. What did you choose, Sigma? You weren't paying attention? You didn't see me push the button? No. Huh, well, you'll know in a moment. <laughs> Dude, that's... <laughs> I gave her a light pat on the shoulder and headed towards the wall where the results would be displayed. I guess it's probably for the best the that she doesn't pay attention. Because if you betray, the then you would think that, you know, be displayed. she would probably say something. <laughs> Please direct your attention to the results screen. I mean, granted, you are it's not like we're killing Quark if we betray. That's one thing that is, uh, we have to remember. So let's see. Betray, betray. Obvious. Allah, Allah. 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 Okay. 
so nobody's got points to leave. Maybe this was the right choice. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Okay, so maybe we got Tim Miyoji's trust back. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Granted, he'll probably just give the credit to Clover. So you chose Ally, huh? Yeah. So now if Betray is actually a bad end, I'm gonna feel it's gonna be hard for me to pick it. You know? So I mean, I feel like I'm gonna show off all the endings regardless. But some of them, man, I just feel I feel bad doing them. Thank you. No need to thank me. I did what anyone else would have, especially if it's a situation where like, okay, if I'm doing the bat like when we were going up against Alice and the game forces you to betray, like okay, I didn't feel that bad about it. Simply because, you know, that's the only option. That's like the correct decision. But if it's a situation where like you betray and it's like the bad end, I just feel bad. Of course. Ten Miyoji had only one BP left, and he was guaranteed to vote ally. Yeah. Fi was the main she was the main thing I was worried about. So there's no way we could betray somebody in that position. If we had, then he'd Yeah, you didn't have much choice. Hey, what the hell is your problem? Uh You're either crazy or just an asshole. I can't believe Alice is this outraged when she just tried to betray. Were you trying to kill me? No, nothing like that. Well then, what was it like? I mean, this is like a situation where like there's, it's it's everybody's assholes here, you know? <laughs> Cuz it's like, yeah, Dio, yeah, you know, shouldn't have betrayed. But at the same time, Dio should know that Kay and Alice, that's like the most diabolical duo next to Clover and Kay. If we'd voted ally, I Or like Clover and Dio. You would or Kay and Dio. Kay and Dio is probably the bracelet would have activated. Kill probably you. the most evil or the most uh likely to betray combo. See? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I didn't think there was any way in hell you guys would choose ally, not with Alice's BP at one. The only way you could possibly vote was betray. Picking ally when I knew you guys would pick Betray would have been suicide. You can't die. You've got six BP. Well, maybe not immediately, no. But I would have been signing my own death warrant. I feel like you're exaggerating a little bit. Heck, not just mine. Everyone except K's. Oh, yeah, because K could have just dipped. What? Didn't you think it through? Your vote was always going to be Betray. Yeah. I mean, Dio's correct here. leaving lunatic and picked ally. What would happen at Kay's BP? He would dip on her asses so fast. Six plus three would make nine. I like how she has to vocalize that. <laughs> like, it's not just, you know. See? I mean, I'm not a math whiz or anything, but I feel like at a certain point, you don't have to say stuff out loud. Then it'd be game over. Life over. He'd open the number nine door and blow this popsicle stand. Blow this popsicle stand. And that'd leave us twisting in the wind, living out the rest of our miserable lives stuck in this place. You see, that's why I chose Betray. I did it to save all our necks, including yours. I can't believe Dio just actually <laughs> made it seem like he's the good guy here. Alice gritted her teeth and scowled fiercely at Dio, apparently trying to think of a rebuttal before finally snorting indignantly and stalking away. Eh, that sounds like Alice. Shortly thereafter, the warehouse was filled with the rumbling sound of the doors sliding shut. Okay, so it's looking like we're safe from a bad end, so that was the, the correct decision. Have closed. For once, being the good guy is what you're supposed to do. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no the ambid as many times as we want, huh? Then uh, that we means we can play the A B game as many times as we want, right? Yeah, I mean that's literally what we just said, Clover. Hey, didn't Zero Junior say something about this? Also, I just started thinking about it. why is she called Clover? That's not our real name, right? Like, wouldn't she just called Clover and 999 as like a code name? I don't know why I'm just now thinking about this 20 parts in. Because I mean, even Alice refers to her as Clover. Because it's not her name, right? 
I think we know. I think we actually know her name from that. Nan Nan. Trying to remember, what was Snake's name? I'm pretty sure they actually mention her real name potentially, but what was it? I'm trying to remember. What was Snake's name from Nan Nan? Was he light? Because I think Aoi was supposed to be Santa. I don't remember. I think it was light. I don't know. But yeah, that's that's kind of odd that she goes back over. I mean, I guess technically Alice would have... But I mean, at that point, there's no need to like keep hiding your name, because they didn't meet until after they were out of the game. So let's see, what do we got? Solo. Hair. Uh, I think that's Fi's hand. No, which one of these is ours? Okay, so we're, in, we're a blue solo. So we would be pairing up with blue plus what makes white? I got no clue. Yeah, I heard about those. Alice told me about them while we were here waiting for you and Clover. I think I've got them figured out. Okay, so at least this time she had to think about it for more than just literally half of a second. How are the groups going to shake out this time? So we could go with Timmyorgy and Quirk. Timmyorgy. Timmyorgy. Timmyorgy and Clark. Okay, Clark? God, dude, what's wrong with me? And Quirk. Um... So then you have Fi and Alice going with Dio. Hmm. And then Clover and Luna going with K. See, I don't like, well, you got Clover. She'll probably betray. So I think this is probably a status quo round. Just those assignments right there. Well, actually, maybe, maybe we and Quark could dip if we double ally. Oh, is there only one option? Yes. Oh, there's only one option. Okay. No other combinations would be able to open the secondary doors. Yeah, I guess if you're all making the same color, you can't really... Admittedly, Tenmyoji and Quark aren't here for us to check, but I'm sure they're the yellow pair. If they weren't, then Sigma would be stuck without anybody he could pair up with. Oh, God. I never thought I'd have to put up with Dio again. <laughs> well, you just didn't think hard enough then. Sooner or later, everybody puts up with Dio. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I mean, I know Dio is like a piece of shit murderer, but man, I actually like him. He's so <laughs> he's got a, he's got a weird charism charisma about him. I mean, he's he's an unobjective like a piece of garbage, but you know, at least he's a fun so, piece of garbage. What should we do now? Whereas Alice is kind of a piece of garbage, but she's not nearly as fun. It looks like we have a lot of time until the primary doors open. I mean, at least, you know, I mean, I feel a little bit better about Alice after learning her backstory and everything, but in the previous path. I'm worried about Quark's condition. Those pods can't cure Radical Six. He still needs help. Well, we don't have anything to lose, so we might as well look for that medicine. Uh, Excelivir, right? Yeah. What about the rest of you? It's actually, it's a axe laver. Oh, I'll help. As will I. Me too. Uh, fine. I guess I can help. Wow, do you really, uh, really show it up? What about you, Sigma? Well, obviously we gotta help. Of course I'll help. What kind of jerk wouldn't? Okay. I mean, God, when even Dio's helping, yeah, you don't have an option. After some discussion, Dio and Kay were assigned to the pantry, Luna and Alice to the treatment center, and Clover, Fi, and myself to the pressure exchange chamber. Shall we regroup in the Floor B warehouse ten minutes before the doors open? That's a long time. You are going to the treatment center, correct? Yes. Then please remember to tell Tenmyoji where we intend to meet and when. Mm-hmm. Okay. You must also remember to bring Quark with you. And remember to tell him he smells like old feet. I am concerned about removing him from the pod, but it can't be helped. Without Quark's bracelet, mm -hmm. Sigma and Tenmyoji will be unable to open the secondary door. Right. Good. Looks like we got all that straightened out. Let's go. I 
oh, we're at 40 minutes. We should probably stop. <laughs> and sometimes the, uh, this game really flaws by... It's like, it's like really the only thing I've been wanting to play the past few days. It's just, I just want to consume Zero Escape. It's, it's all I want to do, man. It's all I want to do. But, yeah, we will, uh, look for Excelivir in the next part. I'm Extra Cheesy 87 Stay tuned for that next part. And, bye guys. <laughs>